Man, I really don't want to go to school again. Probably failed the exam last week as well. My teacher's probably going to call my father and he's going to yell at me again. Another failed exam. Another day I disappoint my father. Yep, like I thought. I had a chat with the teacher. And yeah, if it failed yet another exam, he's going to call my father and my father's going to yell at me again for the 15th time this year alone. I just, I don't like going to school, man. I just don't, don't I don't even want to go home. How am I going to face him? You know, I tell myself that I'm going to be better. I'm going to start studying. I'm going to do better. But... And my friends call me and they want me to go play cricket with them out in the streets. And even though I know I should study, I just can't say no. Oh no. It's Baba. Assalamu alaikum, beta. Where are you? Wa alaikum assalam, Baba. I'm on my way home. I'll be there soon. Okay, Beta, I'm your father. I know when you're lying to me, okay? You're not coming home because you failed yet another exam. I talked to your teacher just now. Okay, get home as soon as you can. How long are you gonna stay away? At some point you have to come home and face me. I know, Baba, I know. But I just... I want to, I want to talk to you about this. I, I know I keep disappointing you when I fail these exams and I don't want to do that. I want to be a son who you're proud of and I know you're not proud of me right now, but... I don't like school, I don't, I don't, you know this, this is not the first time I'm failing my exams. I mean, that should tell you that I'm not interested in school, so please, please let me do what I like doing. I like playing cricket, it's my dream, it's my passion. You see me playing every day in the streets, I'm tired when I come from school, but it doesn't matter, I still go and play cricket out in the streets, and I play more cricket. When I go back to school, I'm playing cricket. When I'm home, I'm playing cricket. Even when I'm sleeping in my dreams, I'm playing cricket. Okay, better. Okay. I just talked to your teacher and he was telling me the same thing, that he's not interested in studying. And if you're not interested, then, well, why should you waste your time and also my money? And you know, better, I don't have that much money. I know, Baba. I'm sorry. I thought about it long and hard and... I'm sick and tired of yelling at you. I'm sick and tired of seeing you fail exams. So I'm going to let you do what you want to do. I'm going to take you to Peshawar Sports Complex tomorrow. But you have to promise me one thing. After I admit you, even though you know I don't have that much money, I'll have to take a loan out to admit you. You have to promise me that you will take that seriously, the cricket, but you will also take your studies seriously. If I see one more failed exam, I will take you out of Peshawar Sports Complex. If you make me that promise that you will take your studies seriously, I will admit you in Peshawar Sports Complex, even take a loan. Can you promise me that better? Yeah, yeah, yes, Baba. Yes, yes, yes. Any, any, I'll do anything for Peshawar Sports Complex. I, yeah, absolutely. I, I promise. I, 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 I can't even speak. That's how excited I got. Yes, I, I promise. I promise, Baba. I promise. Okay, Beta. Okay. Just come home, okay? I'm going to admit you there. I know it's very expensive and you know I don't have money, but I'll take a loan. I'll admit you there. But Beta, promise me. I'm taking a loan here. I need you to be serious. I don't want you to just waste my money and, ta and your own time. I only want the best for you. Please don't make me take a loan out for this. And then you don't take it seriously like your studies. You just keep failing all the trials and all the tests there too. Because it's not going to be easy. I know, Baba. It's not going to be easy. But I'm ready for the challenge. I'm ready to give up everything for this. I'm ready to do it all. And, I'm re and I can only do this with your support. I cannot do this alone. I can only do it with your support. I need your support. I know, Beta. I know. You're my son. I will always support you. Come home. Get rest. And tomorrow, I'll take you to Peshawar Sports Complex. I'm going to admit you there. And, inshallah, one day, well, I hope you take it seriously. And I hope I see you in that green shirt playing for Pakistan. But for now, you're going to start in Peshawar. Okay. Small baby steps. Okay, beta?
Yes, Baba, I totally understand. And I'm home already. I'm in the garage. I'll be up in a minute in my room. All right. Assalamu alaikum, beta. Wa alaikum assalam, Baba. Oh my goodness, did that just happen? Did he just say that he's going to admit me in the Peshawar Sports Complex? You have no idea what that means. Peshawar Sports Complex is the biggest sports complex in Khaybar Bukhtunkhwa, the entire province. Shaheen Afridi, Yasser Shah, Fakhar Zaman, some of the biggest stars that play for Pakistan came from that. I will be there training next to those guys. Am I dreaming? Is this real life? Someone punch me right now. <laughs> I'm the luckiest kid in the world. Oh, Baba, I love you. Oh, my goodness. Tomorrow, I'm going to be playing. Well, I'll be training next to superstars. I can't even go to sleep. Look, oh, my God. This is ridiculous. I never thought this would happen. This was a dream. This was something that I... Well, honestly, I didn't even see this in my dreams. Even in my dreams, I just played in the streets and that's how I imagined it. But I'm actually going to be in the Peshawar Sports Complex. Next to Legends. Oh my God. I need to get some sleep though. And I can't. This is... <laughs> Oh, I can't. I can't sleep. I'm so excited. Oh my god, I only have 15 minutes to get to school. I don't even have time to take a shower or anything. I'm just gonna have to go like this because I made a promise to Baba that I'll do everything right. I'll study, I'll go to school on time, I will not skip. Oh, Baba is already gone, so he won't see me. Okay, I need to go. I need to go to school on time. Oh my goodness. I, <laughs> I had the best day in my school today. And it was just another day. Nothing special happened. Well, except the fact that I will be going to the Peshawar Sports Complex as soon as my father gets home. Baba, man, he is, uh, he can be a bit harsh sometimes and there's a reason behind why he didn't want me to play cricket. While we wait for him to get home, let me share his story with you. See, Baba, my, like me, was just like another kid when he was growing up. When he grew up in Fata, uh, it's federally administered areas. He had it way more tougher than I did. He didn't even have shoes to play cricket and he would sometimes go without shoes and had come back with bloodied feet after playing cricket but like I said he his passion well it didn't matter even if he got injured or if he didn't have shoes he was too passionate and he kept on playing regardless of what the situation was and much like my father his father asked him to focus on his studies and he wouldn't because he wanted to play that's all he cared about was cricket and he was very good, by the way. He was so good. My grandfather didn't have as much money as my father. I mean, my father doesn't have that much money either, but my grandfather was way poorer than that. And so he couldn't admit him or take even a loan because to take a loan, you, you need to have some kind of wealth. See, that's the thing. The banks only give money to the wealthy, not the poor, but the wealthy don't need money. The poor need money anyways. That's another topic for another day. So yeah, he had to work real hard, my father, to um, make a name for himself in the cricketing world. And he did. He played for Peshawar and he played on the domestic level. And he was so good that he actually got the attention of the national team as well. And he got a call up. Yes, he did. He got selected in the national team and he got selected for the tour to England. It's one of the toughest tour, a test tour as well for any nation. And he was selected for that tour. So there was definitely something special about him. See, what happened was a month before he was going to get on the plane and fly all the way over to London and play at Lords, the home of cricket, the place that he's dreamed about all his life. We have this family thing. I just... My grandfather and my grandmother, on both sides, paternal and maternal, both 
passed away of heart strokes, heart attack strokes. It's a family hereditary thing that we have. And my father got a stroke as well. He was paralyzed for three months afterwards. He couldn't move a, any part of his body. And eventually he recovered, but he was never the same. When you're paralyzed for three months, you're just never the same. Not only did he miss out on the opportunity to play in England and play for his country on the international level, well, his career was over. He was never the same. He couldn't perform physically at the level that he did before he got the stroke. And that was the end of the story for him. And see, he'd given up school. He'd given up colleges. He'd given up everything. And so he had nothing at that point. No degree. And therefore no job. And all our lives we've, we've um, you know, I'm grateful for what my father has done and, and all his hard work. But... He was never able to make the amount of money that he could have made if he'd gone to college, if he'd focused on his degree, on his education instead of cricket. And you see what made this even worse for my father was, see, my father is one of three, he had two brothers, and those brothers told him not to go and pursue his dreams. They told him to focus on his studies. And he didn't listen, obviously. So those two are now today way richer than we are way more richer and yeah it's very embarrassing because it's a I told you so moment and it's a thing of pride and it really hurt my father but yeah here we are now it was very unfortunate what happened to him and it's because of that that he's so reluctant to let me go and play cricket that's the reason why even now that he's agreed to play me uh, let me play cricket he's only agreed because I promise to focus on my studies because he wants me to have a backup plan he wants me to be able to make more money than he can at the moment if cricket does not work out if I get injured and like I said it is a family thing both my grandparents and also my father have had a heart stroke, so it is very likely that I might as well. And just like my father, before my career even begins, it'll end. So his reluctance to let me play cricket, well, it actually is very justified, and I do not blame him for that. Oh, Baba is here. Yeah, all right. I'm going to head over to Peshawar Sports Complex with Baba. And, uh, well... I don't know if I'm going to get injured or get a heart stroke or I don't know what's going to happen. What I do know is that playing cricket is my passion. It's my dream. And while dreams do turn into reality, before they do turn into reality, it's a long journey ahead. And it takes blood, tear and sweat. And I'll give it all that. So, my name's Afan Shah. And this is my journey. All right, Beta. So here's the thing. When I was your age, I would get very intimidated by these superstars, international stars as well. And it's normal. You should a little bit be getting intimidated. But don't let it get to you. Don't let it affect your performance. We're going to the Peshawar Sports Complex and you know your idols are going to be there. Some of these people that you see on international level. Don't worry about them. You're there for you, not for them. Play your game. Focus on your game, not them. Okay? Do not crumble under pressure. I know you will because I did too when I was your age. Do not let their stardom get to you. Okay? Focus on your game. And inshallah, you will do good. I know you will. You are my son. You have my genes. You will be even better than I was. Thank you, Baba. Thank you for the tips. I will try to do my best, although it's going to be very difficult for me. You know me, Baba. I love these guys. I grew up watching these guys. I know, Beta, I know. But here we are. I'm going to drop you off in the parking lot here. But remember, Beta, focus on your own game. Don't worry about them. At one point, they were kids like you too, okay? Don't worry about them. Focus on your own game. Have fun. Get out there and show them what you're made of. Assalamu alaikum, Beta. Wa alaikum as Baba. Oh my God. 
I am walking in the halls, the same halls where international players from Portunhua walked in. This is incredible. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Oh my god, this is a dream come true. The thing about this complex is it is so big, it's huge. I mean, right now I'm in the tennis section. I'm not even in the cricket section yet. Look around, these are all tennis players, F future Pakistani tennis stars right here. Look at this, this is a nice court, tennis court right here, this coach talking to his lady. Future Sanya Mirza right there. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get laid, the coach is gonna be mad. Alright, so the coach has given us a couple of drills. He's basically asked us to uh, focus on our accuracy, try and bowl wicket to wicket, try and hit the wicket as much as possible. And so that's the target, that's what I have to do. Here we go, I have six deliveries. Ooh, that was a close one, but I missed it. I have six deliveries and he's told me that I need to hit four minimum for him to even consider me. I missed my first one already. Again, so close, but I missed it. I have four more deliveries and I have to hit all four of these. If he's to even look my direction. Oh, I've missed that one as well. well let's keep going. Let's try and hit as many as possible. Okay, overcorrection. That's a wide. It's not going well. You know, Shaheen Afridi's right there next to me. He's bowling there. There you go. Finally, I hit one. Come on. Too little too late, I'm afraid. But you know what? It's all right. It's a good start, at least. Here we go. Let me get another one. Nope. <sighs> Completely butchered that one. All right, so the coach told me that, uh, well, I will not be selected for the Peshawar squad, not yet anyways, that I'm not ready yet. I didn't even call my Baba because, uh, well, I didn't want to disappoint him and I'm taking the bike ride home. But the good news is they're holding trials next week as well and I can try out again for the Peshawar squad next week and I surely will. Man, I was, Bob, I was right. I was just getting under pressure because Shaheen and all those guys were there. There's a lot of training to do and that was to be expecting. There's a lot of running to be done and here I am running outside. I'll be doing a lot of strength training as well. All right, that's cardio done. Now it's time to pump the body. Some strength training to be done. Here we go. Where do I start? I have so much to do, man. I have two, three hours of workouts every day. I'll obviously be going to the nets as well, practicing there, preparing for next week's trials. Today for cardio, instead of running, I will be doing some swimming. Swimming is a very good workout. It gets all of your body muscles intact it gets um, pretty much the most out of your body and uh, you just do it all in one go and it's very convenient it's very good for athletes and like i said a lot of training to be done here we go i was talking to the coach and he actually told me see the thing about pakistan is we've got a lot of pacers waiting in line to get in and if you're going to make it into the squad just as a pacer, well, you're going to have to be better than Shaheen. You're going to have to be better than Haris Rauf and some of these amazing bowlers who are already in the squad. And I'm not good enough to make it in the team just with my bowling. And my coach gave me a good tip, which was that you should also work on your batting. And when you become an all-rounder, you're a more valuable asset to the team and you have more of a chance of making it into not only the Peshawar side but also in the national squad and so here I am working on my batting trying to become a bowling all-rounder instead of just a bowler. Trials again this is where they pick who will play in the Peshawar domestic squad for this season. 
I couldn't make it last time, but I'm hoping I will this time. Here we go. They've got a couple extra tasks for us this time around. I need to make sure that I'm able to hit the target. That was close. I'm getting the ball to shape in. That's great. Again, getting the ball to shape in, but missed it by just an inch. Ooh, getting real close. Come on, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. There it is. Finally, I hit the middle stump. I think I'm ready to make an attempt on the actual trial. All right, here we go. This is the actual trial. This is the accuracy test, which is same as always. Four out of five. Oh, that, like, not a great start. I missed my first, but that's all right. I only have to hit it four, and I've got five opportunities. You know what? Let's go. Let's do this. I have to. Ooh, that was a nut as well. Nipped off. The coach is really impressed with that one because that one spun a lot as well was extra special, extra spicy. Here we go. Got it. Two out of three. Let's make it three out of four. Come on. Here we go. Yes. All right. One more. Just one more. That's all I need. Got it. All right. I've passed the accuracy test, but that's not it. See, each week... The trials get harder and harder, so now I have to do a couple extra things. Alright, so now he's added the variation test, so he's asked me to ball an in-swing and good length delivery first up. Ooh, he doesn't look too impressed with that one. Now he's asked me to ball an outswinger, length delivery, that's good length. Oh, he doesn't look too impressed with that either. Honestly, I didn't really swing at all that much. All right, so he's asked me to ball a cross seam length delivery. Okay, he looks happy with that one. He gave me a nod. The first two, he didn't do anything. He just took a couple of notes. All right, now he's asked for an outswinger full delivery outside of off. Oh, he looks very impressed with that one. He took a couple of notes and he gave me a nod. All right, time for a leg cutter. Yeah, he's asked me to ball a leg cutter, good length, and outside of off again. Oh, he looks super impressed with that one. He's given me a thumbs up and a nod. That's got to be worth more than just a nod, right? Now time for a leg cutter, good length. Oh, he really likes that one. I think I did well in this one. The variation test, I think I might have passed. I don't know the results yet, but I think I done all right from his reactions. Now, this is not part of the actual trial, but since he asked me to work on my batting, he just wanted to see me play a couple of deliveries, see how I have progressed. And I'm doing well so far. And the bowler is actually doing me a favor. He's bowling absolute pies at this point, so... I'm actually getting bat on ball, and that's great to see. There he goes, straight down the ground. You know what? The coach looks impressed, even though I'm not too impressed with myself. They're not going to lie. <laughs> Still haven't heard back from the coach, and a lot of the boys were uh, making fun of me, saying now I'm big time, and now I haven't got time for them. I don't come out to the streets to play with them. I've forgotten about them. This, that, and the other, you know. You know how it goes. They're friends. They are teasing me, obviously. And so I was like, you know what? Let me go out there to the streets and actually play with these guys because I grew up playing with these guys. You know, everything I know I've learned from them and I mean, I've taught them as well. But yeah, I've yet to hear from the coach. I'm not entirely sure how it went. I mean, from his expressions, it looked like I did okay. Um, I certainly hit the minimum requirement. But is that good enough to make it into the squad? I am not entirely sure. He said he'll give me a call. He hasn't yet, but um, I'm expecting a call any time now. And uh, in the meantime, I'm enjoying a bit of cricket out in the streets with the boys. And uh, it's pretty fun playing out here, you know. No pressure, really. Just fun. Still haven't gotten a call from the coach. It's almost night time. It's probably not going... Uh-oh, well, speak of the devil, there he is. He's just giving me a call. All right, here goes nothing. Hello, is this Afan? Yes, sir, I'm Afan speaking. Hi, Afan, how are you doing? Um, I'm the coach from uh, Peshawar Sports Complex, and the results came back. And um, I went over your uh, performance with my other staff, and um, 
Honestly, we were very impressed with your bowling performance. You hit the minimum requirement, which is fine. Most people do that. You know, they come prepared. They work all week to hit those requirements because we tell you in advance what we expect from you. So most people hit those, but we were really impressed with you at the age that you are, you know, your follow through, your run up, your bowling action, everything seems very smooth and more importantly you are able to control your bowling and also produce pace which is something that we have to try and teach kids at your age. So I am very impressed and so is the rest of the st uh, staff. Um, I think I am going to be very honest, I am not going to lie to you. Your batting needs a little work. I was not too impressed with that, but that's all right. We have selected you as a bowler in the Peshawar squad. So so get ready. You are selected in the starting 11 for Peshawar. And our games start from next month. So, uh, yeah, this is just the start of your journey. Good luck, Afan. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. You've made me very happy by giving me that news. I will give my absolute best. I promise you that, sir. All right. See you out on the field. See you out there, sir. Oh my god, one step closer to my dream. I've been selected into the Peshawar domestic team. This is just first class, nothing major. But this is the first step. I've passed the trials and my journey has begun. So that was uh, episode one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will be continuing the story along. Like I said in the previous video, I don't really have a plan for this uh, story. I don't know which way I'm going to take it. I just sit down one day and I come up with stuff on the spot. So none of this is scripted. None of this is pre-planned. I literally just sit down and whatever comes to my mind, I do that. First episode is a bit slow, it's a bit more bit giving you a bit of a background of my player and you know the father story and all that good stuff. And the next episode we're going to start playing actual cricket. Um, we're going to go into Peshawar Sports Complex, obviously talk to the coach and all that good stuff as well. But anyways, I hope you guys are liking this new format that I'm doing. If you are, do drop a like, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell and please share this video with others. I see a lot of football YouTubers doing this, but I see no cricket YouTubers doing this. I seem to be the only one. So spread the word so everyone around the world who loves cricket can see a career mode that, you know, they've been waiting for all this time. I mean, I know I've been waiting for a career mode like this all my life, and we never got one in cricket. And also, I'll take any tips that you have for me. If you think I spend way too much time on building the story, that's fine too. Let me know. I'll try to improve. Like I say, I just sit down and whatever I can come up with in an hour or two, that's it. That's all the time I have. After that, I give up on it. So I'll, you know, give me tips and I'll try to improve as much as I can. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do check out my other channels as well. I have a reaction channel where I do TV shows in English, but I'm also doing some Bollywood movies as well. I did Rade movie recently, so go you can check that out as well. I have a gameplay video as well. A lot of you are asking me to play GTA and all these different games. I'm playing those already on my Coyote Plays channel, so go ahead, check that out. Anyways, thank you for watching. Follow my social media, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have a nice...